people who want a profound experience of the interaction of art and science and people who just want to come here for a, a, a good day, preferably with good weather, and just say, wow, it is just fantastic. It's one of the best things I've seen for a long time. When we got to the top, the view back over the whole park was truly exciting, uh, intriguing, and, and full of, of questions. You know, it was just wonderful, just wonderful. I think the most striking part is the way in which the design of the place leads your eye in so many different directions, both outwards and upwards as well, because it is a reflection of the cosmos. It just suddenly, you know, it opened out to you and you, you could see the whole site. Just, and just, it was just utterly astounding, you know, the, 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 this old you know, what was waste ground basically, an abandoned open cast had been turned into this, what is probably a, a major uh, world artwork. Well, I just say, wow, you know, here is a derelict site as was, and now it's something that has different meanings for different people. I love the idea that it can be something that's really deeply scientific and philosophical, uh, that Charles Jenks has designed, but equally, it's a great play area for, for me to bring my grandchildren. So it feels like this work has grown out of the site. It's not something that's been dropped on the site. There's a, there's a collaboration going on between the universe and the, and the land uh, and the people that live here and the, you know, the, the, the art world, I think, and the science world. I think it would be fantastic if um, this brings together those communities. There'll be children who'll just run around playing hide and seek with the stones. There'll be people who are into land art and will be coming from across the UK. It was built with the intention of giving a facility for local people, which it will. It's also built so that people from anywhere in the world can come and experience it. It's great. There's a real sense that we're coming to the end of the construction phase. I'm really confident we're going to be finished and in great shape for the end of June. And there's just real excitement about the opportunities when we open and, and how it's going to run as a visitor site. But so far, so good. We're in great shape. Once it becomes publicised and known, beautiful photographs appear in glossy um, books, uh, people will begin to come from across the world. And I think it will really help put uh, this part of, uh, of Dumfries and Galloway onto, onto the map. It will be a global destination one day. That's my prediction.